Hi. You might remember from one of my previous uh, videos on here that we talked a lot about taking uh, files into Autodesk Inventor to prepare them for CAE analysis. But one of the things I also want to talk about is Autodesk Inventor Fusion, which is kind of like the next step in the evolution to this. Uh, I just want to hit these high points real quick. And part of the reason why we get concerned about getting information ready for CAE is primarily because we want to make sure that as we prepare this information, it's an accurate representation of our model. It does represent the geometry. And you know we're not over, uh, over detailing the model for the CAE analysis. Uh, we, we talked a little bit about this last time. We looked at the, uh, the Autodesk Multiple Insight uh, comparisons of the different features as we started removing specific things, things like the text and the rounds. We can see how it would increase our time, increase the accuracy of the model, and also increase, increase the integrity of the model as well. Uh, just a, a quick jump into this. I want everybody to take a look at this real quick. Part of the reason why we do this is I want everybody to notice that uh, as we go from the more complex models like we have on the, the right side to the simpler models that are here on the left side, as we start taking things like the text off and the rounds out, you notice that our temperatures, for example, are practically identical. Our pressures, again, are, again, practically identical. So everything in this is maintaining its integrity. So by, by simplifying these models, we create a better, a more accurate representation of the mesh to represent these geometries. And we still maintain the integrity of these without uh, burdensome cleanup times, without burdensome uh, issues with these. So we, we do want to uh, kind of keep an eye on some of that information as we, uh, as we continue down that process. So I just wanted to, uh, to take the time for everybody to, to kind of see that information. And uh, but we also want to take a look at how we can deal with some of these files from different formats. For example, we talked a lot of last time about dealing with dumb solid files. And you'll notice this is the exact same file we had in Inventor. Uh, it's got the same characteristics, the same rounded features on it. it it's got the exact same uh, text on the back side here. So let's take a look at the back real quick. You can see that it still has the text on the back. Uh, so it, it is the, the same file that we were looking at before. So one of the things that we're going to want to do with this is, just like we've done before, is we can take specific features of this, and we can delete those off. And again, we can select multiples on these if we want to. We can select multiple features here, take those off all at one time. Uh, but one of the things that makes Fusion so powerful is that even beyond its capability of specifying specific information that I may want to deal with, I also have the capability of doing some very unique things inside of Inventor Fusion. For example, it has the neat push and pull capability. So now, not only can I simplify the model, I can very quickly start to push and pull specific details into, say, different sizes and different shapes. So I can take this rounded feature, for example, and I can pull it out into a, a, more, a bigger shape, into a smaller shape. And, and we can actually see these modifications take effect visually right here on the screen. We can also see some specific information, like if we wanted to say push and pull specific features, like we want to extend the, the top of this part, we can actually just pull it straight up so that we can make the part longer, we can make it shorter. So if we are doing some simplistic design changes, you notice that we are now dealing with gum solid capability to make part modifications. Now, for things like structural analysis, we may want to thicken these parts up. For flow analysis, we may want to put specific details in, like flow leaders. But by doing this, this now gives us the capability of not only modifying the part, simplifying the geometry, but also creating alternatives to the geometry that we may not have been able to do in the past. So by having some of this capability built into the technology, we can get very specific with the things that we're doing. One of the other things that I wanted to point out is there's also feature recognition built into Inventor Fusion. So one of the things that we can do is not only pick specific geometric shapes, like pick these rounded features that we have here on the, the geometry that we may not want in our CAE analysis, but we can also go through and do a specific find on each one of these geometric features so that if we get into a specific situation, say like the text on the back side to this, we can very quickly now get into the simplifications of this geometry so that we can prepare it again for CAE analysis. 
The find feature now is going to build its own characteristic tree, but they're going to be independent of each other. And that's going to make this an extremely powerful capability for this particular part, because what we're going to end up doing is we're going to look at some specific geometric features that we're going to run or remove off of the part. And if you take a look, you can see the tree that's been actually constructed over here on the side of the model. You can see very specific information. In fact, if we, uh, if we take a look again at the back side to this, let, let's take a look at where the text exists on this model. And one of the things that we can do is we can find the specific extrusions that make up this text. For example, you notice right here I can click on the different extrusions here. You notice it highlights that T for me. All I have to do if I want to remove this text off now, rather than trying to figure out what the height is like we had to with uh, the standard inventor, we can simply come in now and pick the specific extrusion and just simply delete those off. Thus giving us the capability again to create an extremely simplified model ready for CAE analysis and again just as accurate a representation for the simulation that we're trying to conduct with a lot more power. So now we have the capability not only to, to simplify the model but also create some very subtle modifications to the model for structural analysis or to go even further into the overall process with this. So again, some very powerful tools for us to create models, to go out into the digital prototyping world and be more prepared for the rest of that digital prototyping process.